Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another Cars with Ben video. And today I'm going to upload um, a new Gran Turismo update that came out a few days ago, a bit late on the uh, upload, but just wanted to cover it really um, because I thought it was a neat little up update for Gran Turismo. And like I predicted, they are getting a lot smaller now, updates. So maybe this could see the potential release of Gran Turismo. Uh, seven, a new Gran Turismo for next generation, definitely. Uh, but for today, just wanted to sort of do a quick review on the 1.59 update. Um, so let's do it. Okay, so we've had a new update of a new car, which is the Mazda RX Vision, and that is a brand new car. That's in it's more of a Vision car for Mazda, um, and I think it's quite a cool car. At first impressions, it handles really well, pretty fast. Uh, not the fastest, but definitely a really cool car to drive. It's a bit like a, a normal car within a race car sort of style, so you can definitely you can use it for GT3 racing as well, which I was surprised by. Uh, it handles incredibly well, and it's definitely a really good fun car to, to use. Um, it was originally sort of based off the Le Mans 787B Mazda race car, and this is sort of a, a more of a modern version of it, I guess, or that's what they're trying to go for anyway with this. Um, so I thought I'd test it out on Suzuka, uh, kind of a quick review really, um, and the car is really good, it handles really well. I definitely would recommend it if you use it on races or online races, it feels like you've got a good cockpit view as you can see here, um, and it just feels like very precise, very poised, so I definitely um, think it's a great car. In terms of the update, they've added a few races to Gran Turismo, and a few of those are sort of, sort of new in the uh, beginners, um, the amateur, professional, the leads. Stuff like that, so not too much to the update other than this is the main top thing in the car. Um, they are only adding one car, which is a bit weird at the moment because I think obviously they are dying down with the updates. Um, spun it here, messed it up completely, messed it up completely. But I promise I'm a better racer, I'm a better driver than this. I wasn't expecting that spin to be fair, it just kind of took me by surprise. I think I've got the ABS turned off so. But the car was really fun, uh, good specific, specifically good on Suzuka because it just handles well on this. It's a good little tester because it's all a lot of curves and turns and twists. Um, but other than that, performance is great, styling is great, I think. Um, handles great, and it's a fun little car. It was, a, it's only a small, obviously, update, but there's a lot of talk about sort of the new game coming out soon, so I think that's a big reason why they're doing it. Um, it sort of draws, as I said, it draws upon the 787B's engine, so it's pretty fast. It's got a rotary engine, should say. So a lot of people said love the sound already. It's got a huge, great, you know, homage to the rotary, which is uh, I love the sound. The sound is another thing you'll love about this car. Um, it's definitely worth downloading the update if you haven't already. It's a, a lot of fun. Um, just every now and then when they do these updates, it's good to go back. To just go back on Gran Turismo because I've stopped playing it recently because of the updates, it's just not been there. And um, I do try and play online when I can, and yeah, it's a, it's a lot of fun. This this particular little, I did a little time trial with the car here, and so it's definitely something um, to test out. It's it's really going to be one of the fastest on the laps, I think, especially if you get the settings right with this one. It's uh, it's a lot of fun, um, and I probably could repeat myself several times over for saying that. But that's the uh, sort of update that they've done. I'll also talk about just a few other things. So they have obviously added a few four new races into the GT leagues, and especially the endurance. Um, a few new decals, particularly with Mazda and Mitsubishi logos. And then just generally, they've updated the game, so it runs a bit smoother as they usually do. Um, so anyway, guys, that's this. That's that for the, today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, leave a like. Um, I'm going to continue making more car content for the Cars with Ben channel. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.